morning. For Traders Exclusive, this is George Kachuk with RCM Wealth Advisors reporting to you from the CME Group trading floor, floor in Chicago. What I'd like to do is talk about the equity markets. The equity market uptrend continues, and I kind of say that with a smile because uh, the sentiment still seems to be pretty negative and people aren't believing what's going on. But let's talk about what we're seeing. Well, last Wednesday, we saw a huge follow through day when the NASDAQ was up over 1.5% on big volume. That pretty much confirmed the market. We keep getting these big jumps and it tapers off a little, moves down the sideways and continues higher. And if we look underneath the hood, we're seeing a lot of positive things, specifically the market breadth indicator. If we look at the NYSE advanced decline line, that's hitting new highs. And that's a really good leading indicator. And furthermore, when we look at uh, specific industry groups, we see some really good positive rotation. Now, a few weeks ago, I talked about the biotech sector being the lagging sector. It got hit hard. And over the last few weeks, it's been acting very strong. About a few weeks ago, it was up 5%. Last week, it was up about uh, 1%. In fact, today it's up 1% if we look at the IBB. And more specifically, we talked about the financials that were lagging. And that was really a bad thing. You know, if you're going to have a good bull market, you need to see the financials kick in. And that's exactly what we got last week. If you look at the XLF, that was up over 3% last week. Similarly, we continue to see strength in uh, technology. If you look at the XLK uh, and the XLY consumer discretionary, those are up about 1% and 2% last week. And we're also in the economically sensitive uh, groups like the materials. If you look at XLB, that was up over 3%, as were the industrials. Uh, if you look at XLI, and that's good for good global economic growth. So you can't deny those things. So a lot of those things are looking very, very good for the market. Now, so as this is going on, we're looking at some advantageous plays. And one trade we're looking at, uh, we actually started purchasing the stock last Friday, is Anika Therape Therapeutics. The symbol is A-N-I-K. And the reason we like it, it's been in about a two-year consolidation moving sideways, but it got, did not get hit near as hard as the other biotechs. And it exhibiting what I call a volatility contraction pattern, meaning as it's consolidated over the last two years, it, it gets tighter and tighter, meaning there's a lot of good support. Now, last Thursday, it broke through a trend line breakout right at about $45. But the high it's breaking through on Friday was like about $47.5. So right now, it's trading at $48 range. It's piled up viable up to about $49. And if it were to close below 43 on a weekly basis, maybe the trade's not ready to go. Uh, so that's about a 10% stop. So, you know, you want to position size accordingly. If this trades for you, you should always consult your financial advisor. And the reason we like the company too, it's growing, it's a small cap, so it's, it's going to be volatile. So that's a little bit of risk. But the things that we like about it is it's in the hyaluronic acid space, meaning it makes injections for uh, arthritic joints whether it be in your knees or in your hips. And that's supposed to be a really large market going forward. A uh, few research groups believe that it could be an $11 billion market by 2020. Uh, and if Anika can uh, capture a good chunk of this market, that would be really good for the company. So, but as always, let price and volume be your guide. Realize we are in a pretty good market. So keep looking for stocks that are breaking out. And if it's, you have the risk tolerance for it, it's a good time to try and play them. So have a great trading week. This is George Kachuk, where I see Advisors, reporting to you from a CME Group trading floor in Chicago.